Hello, it is John here for another A52 tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to be creating a muzzle flash in Unreal Engine 4. So it's going to be a two-part tutorial. Part one is going to be us working in Photoshop, actually creating the plane, the texture, what's going to be the base of the muzzle flash. And part two is going to be going into Unreal, editing it, trying it out, seeing what we got. Cool, so jumping straight into Photoshop, I'm going to be creating a new canvas, which is 1024 by 1024 good texture size and let's get going so I'm going to set my background to black because I'm going to be creating a shape on top of it so make sure at the top you are set to shape by default you remember set to path and I'm going to be working in white and I'm just going to play fast and loose and sort of create a muzzle flash shape by just hammering a couple of points down. Now don't worry about sort of creating anything specific or a particular shape because by and large muzzle flashes don't really have a particular shape and what we can do is once you've laid down your points we can sort of tweak it and make it look a bit more I'm not really sure make it look a bit more pointy I guess Oops, control T, I'm just gonna... Bit of a gap there as well. Seal that up. Cool. And tuck this one in. Loosely, that's okay. Like I say, it doesn't really have to be anything sort of special. So what we're gonna do is Rasterize the layer, and then we're going to put on a few effects. The first one we're going to do is go to Blur and put on a Gaussian Blur. So sort of play around with this, find a part where it looks almost a bit feathered out, a bit glowy around the edge. Mm. Yeah, it seems to be kind of good around that 20-ish mark. And we're going to put another effect on here as well. So let's go to filter and we're going to put a noise and we're going to put a median on there and this what this is going to do is it's going to soften our edges so sort of play around with this and again look where the edges are because we don't want like these pointy edges 30 should do awesome let me just lift you up a bit cool so that is the basis for our muzzle flash what we're going to do is we're going to right click, we're going to duplicate the layer. And under duplicate, we are going to put on a filter, render, difference clouds. And you should get this sort of effect on top of there. So you need to have a shape for this to appear on. And let's go into now our image and let's sort of quickly just adjust it, tweak it, try and make it sort of a bit more consistent. Yeah, let's do that. I'm also going to put on some levels as well, try and bring the black out a little bit as well. Cool. Alright, and at this point, we are going to make that look a bit fiery. So let's right click and go to our blending options, and we're going to drop a color overlay on. So find yourself an orange, as you can see, I've already done this, so we can sort of get the idea. Find yourself a nice, bright, fiery orange, the colour that you want to go for. And go through your blend modes until you find one that you sort of like. Overlay looks quite nice, vivid light's quite nice. So, like I said, when you find one that you like, I'm going to go for Vivid Light. Maybe bring that down a little bit as well. I make my red a bit brighter, maybe a bit more orange as well. Awesome, that is loosely the shape. And again, at this point, you want to keep tweaking that, maybe making it look a bit better. Awesome. Cool. 
And what we're going to do is we're going to take this bottom layer again and we're going to duplicate it and bring it above. And what this is going to do, this is going to sort of form a really sharp brightness in the center. And I'm just control clicking, pulling that transform around. And let me just bring the brightness up on this middle layer again. Let's try the hue and saturation this time. Yeah, it's not going to work because it causes an overlay. It's not being rasterized, but it brings the brightness up anyway. And how's that looking? That's looking all right. I think what I'm going to do is pull this down as well a little bit. And I'm going to right click and maybe put a glow on this, see how this is going to look. Just sort of play with this. Just see if I can find a nice point for it. And yeah. That also do bring it down a bit as well. Cool, and that is the basis for our muzzle flash. We're not really done there yet. We almost are. Let's delete the background and check out our channels, make sure we've got we're going to put an alpha on there as well, so which one will be sort of the best one, let's just magic wand -y outside in fact we'll magic wand -y outside this one and go to our channels, go back onto our alpha and let's paint that in real quick. Oops, Control Shift I, select the inverse, paint that in. That way we've got our alpha mask as well. And yeah, that loosely sort of covers everything. We're losing a bit of our glow, but it'll be okay. Because we're going to add more glow anyway in the engine. Oops, yeah. And what we'll do as well, let's, I mean, even though I'm sort of happy with that, I think as well, what I'm going to do is just create another texture. Pixels, and drop the box down real quick. And let's create some different clouds again. So repeating what we did before. And again, try some different things. This is gonna give so gives a different texture, a different feel. Cool. Don't need to back. Oops. And maybe just gonna make some quick adjustments. And loosely going to save that as that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to save both of these as a PNG. I could put them both on like a like a target layer, like in the, in the channels, have that as in the channel. But I don't think I'm going to for now. I'm just going to keep it simple. So yeah, save both these as a PNG. This is going to be muzzle. Flash. Same thing. Save as muzzle flash texture. If I could type today, that'd help. Cool. Save that. 
And all right, that is sort of the first part for creating the texture. What we're gonna do next is jump into Unreal in the next tutorial and start putting these together to see how that's gonna look. So I hope to see you there.